Well, hello, Cleo. So glad to see you this morning. Yeah, I know. We let things get pretty bad. Yeah, I'm personally a little ashamed of how bad I let her get. Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. Good to see you out here again with us again today. And hey, you might wonder what we're up to. Well, it's just one of those facts of life. One of which sometimes gets over on you. And such is the case with what we're doing today. And as you know, this channel is about what we do and how we live our life. We don't do it for clicks and grins. But what are we up to today? Well, today's the day. We get Alice all cleaned up from over the fall and winter time. And like I say, I'm a little ashamed that I even let her get to this point. I don't normally do that. But as you know, all of our car washes now are shut down in our little small town here in the deep south of Alabama. And normally, I run Alice through, ran the focus through about every two weeks. Yeah, to keep the grime knocked down. And plus, I live under trees, so tree sap is always an issue too. It's just one of the not so good blessings of living under trees. But today I decided, since she's got to go to town again on Tuesday, for my biopsy follow-up, it's time to get little Alice all cleaned up. So let me show you the shape she's in. Don't be too hard on the little old man. Many of you know what we've been facing and what our concentration has been. Let's take a look at her. Cleo, what's wrong? Are you gonna help Papa? Are you? Are you gonna help me? Hmm? No. <laughs> You just want lovin's, don't you? You always do. Come on. Now get up those claws out of my legs. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, as you can see, Cleo, she's happy to see me. And you can see right here, I hope it's picking it up. Yep, Alice is covered up with, oh, tree sap mixed with pollen which is sticky too. Yeah, you can see it on there. She's looking quite sad. Everywhere. Tree sap, pollen stuck to her. Everywhere. Now I've already been working on her some, but I had to go get some other things. See right here on the hood. It was covered up with that black tree sap. And we scrubbed and scrubbed with some regular car wash. And as you can see, it wasn't coming off. So we've had to up our game. Now initially what I was using, and this is not a sponsored video, I buy these things. And I was using this Turtle Wax Ice Car Wash. It does fine for normal use, but not to get the tree sap off. So now we're going to step it up. We're going to use some turtle wax bug and tar remover. It says powerful stain fighting formula, easily removes dried on residue. And it says on the back that it's good for bugs, tar, bird droppings, and tree sap. So we'll hope that's true. And if that don't get it, I know what will. As Cleo's pointing out, or so she's trying, and that's just super clean. Tough task, cleaner and degreaser. Dissolves grease super easy and super fast. And yep, that'll get her done. But it's rather strong and I'll have to wear gloves. I'll also be using a little natural scrubby that sort of kind of seen better days because we've used it to clean our dishes. It's all natural fibers and it won't scratch. So that's what old Mr. Tom's up to today. And hey, we've got a partly cloudy day. No better day to do it and get her done. So let me get on with it. And then we'll come back. And hopefully, we've made Alice proud again. Well, we got the top all clean. Got the roof, trunk deck. We got the hood. Yeah, she's starting to look rather nice. She's getting proud. 
<laughs> I see you wander back over to check out what we're still doing. Well, we're still watching Alice, but we're about to take a break. So I'm glad you stopped by. Sort of gives me an opportunity to show you how well that turtle wax bug and tar remover did. Let me show you. Well, here you can plainly see. Here it's nice, clean, and shiny. And here is all the tree sap, pollen, grime, and everything still stuck on. It's quite a defining line right there between the clean and the not so clean. But this is what we were using, the turtle wax bug and tar remover, which says it takes tree sap off, and you can clearly see it does. But now we're all out. So we're gonna fill her up with the super clean. And we're gonna continue on. I know that's super clean. We'll do a fine job. And then once we're through, what we're gonna do, we're gonna give her a quick overwash with that turtle wax ice, which also has wax in it, which should help with uh, letting all that tree sap, pollen, and grime slip off. So hey, let's me get back to it. Well, once we take a short break. Yeah, I can't do a whole car anymore without taking a break. Maybe you can. And maybe in the comments below the video, tell me what you do. How you keep your car up. Do you wash it by hand or do you take it to the car wash? I think we all want to know. If you got some special products that work fine for you, throw that in the comment too. We'd really appreciate it. Well, Alice, there you are. You're all back shiny, spiffied up again. Yeah, I mean, we can see you got a few scratches, a few dings and dangs, but other than that, for a 16 year old car, you're looking pretty sharp again, old girl. Yes, you are. At least enough for this little old man. All the tree sap is gone. Once she dries, She'll be nice and shiny again. Windows are all cleaned. Yeah. Rims and tires are done. Yeah, just like we used to do when we were in high school. Get our rides all ready. Friday and Saturday night. And Sunday too. So there you have it. Alice is all back proud. And shiny clean. Yeah, she's got some issues. Molding starting to fade, what have you. But hey, sometime this year, Alice turns sweet 16. Yes, she does. And I've had her for over a year now. Hasn't cost me a thing. She's been real reliable. Couldn't complain. Love you, Alice. Oh, hey there, friends and family. Well, as you can see, Alice is all spiffied up. And she's ready to ride. She wants to take a ride since now she's all shiny clean and of course Cleo wants to come. Let me show you. Cleo, you've been waiting five hours to get on Papa's feet when he wasn't moving, haven't you? Well, we got Alice all clean. You want to ride? You do? Okay. Well, let me catch my breath, and we'll grab a cold drink from the fridge, and we'll take a ride. Okay, baby? Just you, me, and Alice. Okay? Okay. Well, <laughs> okie dokie. There you go. We'll go for a ride in a minute, okay? <laughs> well, as you can see, Cleo's ready to roll, too. And you know if Cleo's coming along, ain't nobody else getting in the car. So I have to apologize, friends and family. This ride just gonna be me and Cleo. <laughs> Cause you know, you'd be risking life and limb to ride along with Cleo in the car. You know how she is. Yep, I'm her papa. And nobody else can have her papa but her. So hey, until I see you on that next video. Y'all take care, stay safe. And God bless you. You bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Cleo, sit down. It's only you and me in here. And buckle up. No, get out of my lap, Cleo. 
No, you're not driving again. Last time you drove, we like to wound up in the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, I know you, you like fish, but we're not driving down to Gulf Shores today. And you're not driving. So get out of my lap and get buckled up. Yeah. Okay, I'll let you drive out of the yard. How about that? But once we get out of the yard, Papa's got to drive again. Okay? So, you know, it's a manual. See what you can do. Oh, take her slow, Cleo. Cleo. Don't be goosing it. You know, Alice is a little bit old here. Come on now, Cleo. Just take it nice and slow. Don't hit the truck. Here we go. Well, I think you ran over some limbs. Yep, we did. Come on, Cleo. We picked up a limb. There we go. Yes, you did. Look at that. Cleo, where are you going? Hey, now come on. Jump back in the driver's seat and let Papa drive. Cleo! Oh my God, this won't end well. Oh, later all.